The heartwarming video of a student giving his high school janitor a pair of new shoes has turned both into local celebrities. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more stories that make Mondays a little less Monday-ish. Tristan McAllister is a student at Stafford High School in Fredericksburg, Virginia, and he'd struck up a friendship with janitor Angel Echevarria. He was one of those people that was always smiling, saying, God bless, have a great day. Tristan and Angel's friendship started about two years ago, right here in Stafford High School. Tristan said one day he asked Angel what shoes he should buy for himself, and he picked out Jordan 8s. Tristan asked if he had a pair of his own, and he said, nope, I have four kids, I can't shop for myself. Jordan 8s are the shoes Michael Jordan wore during the 1992-93 NBA season, when the Bulls won their third consecutive NBA title. A new pair of Jordan 8s run between $190 and $250. And Tristan wanted to do something nice for Angel, so he bought him a pair of Jordan 8s. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you, bro. You too much, bro. You know I'm gonna have to get you back there, right? <laughs> and that simple moment between a student and a staff member has gone viral. Tristan said he hadn't even planned to record the moment, but his mom wanted to see Angel's reaction. Here's where things get a little confusing for me. If you didn't want to record the moment, but you just did it for your mom, why after that did you then choose to post it for the entire world to see? The moment's even more touching though, considering Angel's past. Long before working at Stafford High School or knowing Tristan, he was homeless for four years. Yeah, homeless, four years. And um, before I met my wife and she kind of took me out of that whole lifestyle. Work and family became the focus. Add to that, friendship. Stafford High Assistant Principal Amy Ivory shared the video on Facebook and wrote, I am so proud of this young man. This morning when Tristan came into my office, I found out it was him. I almost cried. I'm blessed to work and know such wonderful young people like him. I can't love this enough. According to Tristan, he has a closet full of hundreds of dollars worth of sneakers, so I guess one less isn't making a huge dent in that. I think the story is beautiful because anytime somebody gives or tries to help somebody else, it's an opportunity to spread some love and appreciation for one another. But on the other hand, the story makes me cringe majorly too. Okay, stick with me for a second, I'll explain. There's this idea of eight levels of giving. At the lowest level of giving, you give, but you don't actually wanna be doing it. So you give grudgingly. As we progress up the rungs, there's giving generously, but only after being asked. There's giving anonymously, and at number one, there's helping somebody so that they can go off and make money for themselves and be self-sufficient in the future. On the level of giving between one and eight, Tristan's level is at number five, which is just giving without being asked to give. And one is the highest and eight is the lowest, so he's not really on a high scale of giving. Okay, so what does all this mean? And you could say like, Martine, why does this make you cringe? Who cares? He just gave the guy a gift. But my argument is that he gave this guy a gift in a very public way. It's an expensive gift that as a teenager, I don't know if he could afford himself. And he gave it in a sense where he then put it out to the rest of the world so that everybody else could know, hey, I'm Tristan, I gave this guy who's less fortunate something. Though some say there's no such thing as a selfless deed, which I don't necessarily know if I agree with. I think this moment would have been so much more beautiful had he just done the act without then putting it out on social media to get a big pat on the back from everybody from having done it. Also, I kind of feel like this whole story perpetuates the idea that people in the service industry don't make money. Instead of looking at it like, whoa, that's nice, he gave this guy a gift, we're like, oh, he was a janitor. And I think we could look at it like, oh cool, this guy's a janitor. Like, he used to be on the streets four years ago, but now he's taken himself out of that, he's making money for his kids, the whole thing's awesome. So my hope is that we can look at this story like, cool, this kid did a really nice deed for someone else, period. Not because he's less fortunate. And I just wanna say, anytime, again, anytime somebody gives, I think that that's amazing. Please keep giving, but just be aware of how it can be taken contextually, especially when you choose to post it online. All right, let's take it back to the fun side. Let us know what type of shoes you guys would get if Tristan was buying. And for more trends, head to whatstrending.com.